Welcome to Engineers Academy. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification for the upcoming videos. Now I am going to solve uh, this problem 1286, which is based on the projectile motion. Right, so it is said that determine the minimum initial velocity. So we have to find the minimum initial velocity v naught and the corresponding angle theta naught. Right, so this is the initial velocity v naught, which is acting at some angle theta naught at which the ball must be kicked, right? So we have to find this initial velocity in order for it to just cross over three meter high, high fence, right? So this is three meter high fence. So we have, we have to give a minimum V naught velocity. We have to find that minimum uh, V naught velocity in order to clear this fence, right? And there, this uh, fence is at a distance of six meter from this point, right? From this initial uh, point, right? So now uh, to solve uh, such kind of problem, we have to first define our coordinate system, right? So let me define my coordinate system. So let's say that my, let's say this is my positive x and y axis, is right? So let's say this is positive x and let's say this is positive y right and this is that initial velocity so this initial velocity will have two components right so it will have one component in the x direction right so we can write that there will be one component in this direction so this will be v naught x and similarly there will be one component in the y direction right so the v will have this component right so this is v naught y right so this component is v naught y and this angle is theta right so if this is our positive x and this is positive y, so the, uh, when the ball is moving upwards, so the, the positive velocity direction will be in the positive x and positive y, right? Since uh, this is our coordinate system that plus x and plus y, so plus y is in the upward direction, so this means that when the ball is moving upwards, so it, its velocity will be decreasing in the y direction, right? So the velocity along the x the v naught x uh, component of the velocity will remain constant, but uh, when the ball is going upward, so its vertical velocity, that is v naught y velocity will decrease, and hence it will deaccelerate, right? So this means that the acceleration due to gravity will be acting downward, right? So this will be our g direction, right? Since the final velocity at some other point, then this initial point will decrease, right? So if we consider this point, so at this point, the velocity, the vertical velocity component, that is v naught y at this particular point will be less than this v naught y, right? Since this means that there is a deacceleration in the negative y direction, right? So now to find this v naught and theta naught, first we have to consider the horizontal motion, right? So if we consider the horizontal motion, so we can write that this equation is x is equal to x naught plus v naught x into t, right? So we have only this one equation in case of the horizontal motion of our projectile motion, right? So this is the initial position, right? So at the initial position, x naught and y naught are zero, right? So these are the initial position. And we want to find the velocity at this point. So the coordinates of this point, according to this coordinate system, is that this is 6 and 3, right? So this point is at a distance of 6 meters along x and 3 meters along y, right? So we can write that this is the final x and final y, right? So these are the final positions. So now we can incorporate this, uh, these values in this equation, right? So x is 6, at this particular point x is 6 meters, so I will write 6, x naught is 0, right? So this will become 0, and v naught x is v naught cos of theta naught into t, right? So v naught and theta naught and t, all these three parameters are unknown, right? So we can write that t is equal to 6 divided by v naught cos of theta naught. And now if we consider the vertical motion, So then we have this equation which is equal to y equals to y naught plus v naught y t and this will be minus half g t square, right? Since y naught, th these are x naught and y naught, so y naught is again 0, right? So this will become 0 
right. So, and y is 3 meters, right. So, here the y coordinate of this final point is 3. So, we will write 3 and v naught y is v naught sine of theta naught into t minus half this will be 9.81. If, if I write plus here, so then g will be minus, right. So, remember that g is acting in the negative y direction. So, that is why we are using g as minus 9.81, right. So, let me write it here is minus 9.81 and we have this t square. So, now let us say that this is our equation 1. So, from equation 1 t is equal to 6 divided by v naught cos of theta naught, right. So, we can substitute that 1 into this equation that t equals to this thing in this equation, right. So, let us say this is our equation 2. So, this will be equal to if I substitute uh, this v this t value in this equation. So, this will become v naught sin of theta naught and t is 6. 6 divided by v naught cos of theta naught and this will be minus 9.81 divided by 2 and this will be t square. So, t square will be 6 square 6 divided by v naught cos of theta naught whole square and this will be equal to 3 right. I have just inter interchanged the sides of this equation right. So, this 3 is on the other side. So, now if uh, we look into this equation, so this v naught will cancel out, right. So, this will be 6 sin of theta naught divided by cos of theta naught and this will be, this will be 4.905 into 36, this is 6 square, right. And this will become v naught square cos square theta naught and this will be equal to 3. And when we multiply this, so this comes out to be 176.58, right. So, I will write 176.58 and now if I multiply uh, this whole equation with this v naught cos square theta, right. So, this will be, let me write it like this. So, if we multiply this with v naught square cos square theta naught and similarly, if I write this uh, v naught square cos square theta naught and this will be into 176.58 and similarly we will write v naught square cos square theta naught here as well, right. So, now as we can see that this cos of theta naught will cancel out with this cos one cos, right. And similarly this will be cancelled out with this. So, we will be left with 6 v naught square right 6 v naught square cos theta naught sin theta naught and this will be minus 176.58 equals to 3 v naught square cos square theta naught and similarly we can write it like this as well right. So, this will be 6 v naught square cos of theta naught sin of theta naught and this will come to the other side right. So, this will be minus 3 v naught square cos square theta naught and this will be equal to plus 176.58. And now, if I take uh, 3 v naught square common from both of these uh, terms, right. So, this will be 3 v naught square and this will be 2 cos of theta naught sin of theta naught minus cos square theta naught and this will be equal to 176.58. So, now we can write it like this as well, right. So, this will be 3 v naught square and this 2 cos of theta naught sin theta naught is equal to sin 2 theta naught, right. So, this is from trigonometry, right. So, this is the double angle formula, right. So, this is if sin alpha plus beta, right. So, sin alpha plus beta is 2 sin alpha cos beta plus cos alpha sin beta and if the angle is same, so then that comes out to be 2 cos theta naught sin theta naught. So, that will be to sin 2 theta naught, right, minus cos square theta naught and this will be equal to 176.58. Since we are finding this v naught, so if we separate this uh, v naught term from this whole equation, right. So, v naught square 
will be equal to 176.58 divided by 3 sine of 2 theta naught minus cos square theta naught right and if we want to find v naught so then we have to take the square root as well. Now in the statement we are given we we are asked to determine the minimum v naught right so minimum so as we can see that this 176.58 this term is constant right this is constant right so this v naught depends on this term right so when this term will increase right so when this sin 2 theta naught minus cos square theta naught so when this term will increase so v naught will decrease since there is inverse relation right so this means that when this term will maximize so at maximum value for this term we will have minimum v naught right so this means that if we write that if we write this as a function right so this is a function of theta right and this is sin 2 theta naught minus cos square theta naught right so if we take the derivative of this and if we take the derivative of this and equate it to 0 so that will give us the maximum theta naught condition for which this term will become maximum right so I will write the df divided by d theta right so now we need to take the derivative of this with respect to theta naught right so this is theta naught so what will be the derivative of this so this derivative will be cos of 2 theta naught 2 and this will be plus 2 sin of theta naught so this will be 2 cos of theta naught sin theta naught right and we will equate this derivative equal to 0 and now as we can see that this is 2 cos of 2 theta naught again this is 2 cos theta naught sin theta naught so this will become sin 2 theta naught and this will be equal to 0 and now if I divide this whole equation by cos theta naught right so this will be if I divide this whole equation by cos 2 theta naught and this will be again cos 2 theta naught equals to 0. So this will cancel out. So we can write that this will be 2 and this will become 10 2 theta naught equal to 0. So now we can write that 10 2 theta naught will be equal to minus 2 right and 2 theta naught will be equal to 10 inverse minus 2. So this 2 theta naught comes out to be minus 63.435 right so 435 degrees right so since here is negative so this means that this angle is measured from the negative x axis right so this is uh, the angle this angle right so this is this angle is clockwise angle right and in the problem we are asked to find this angle right which is with the positive x axis. So this means that if, if, if we want to find this angle so then we have to add 180 with this right so this 2 theta naught is also equal to minus 63.435 plus 180 degree. So this will give us theta naught with the positive x axis right. So theta naught will be equal to minus 63.435 plus 180 divided by 2. Theta naught comes out to be 58.28 degrees right. So now when we give v naught velocity with this theta right so that will just clear that 3 meter uh, high fence right so now if you want to find that minimum velocity so then we will use this equation again now we know theta naught so now to find this v naught which is minimum right so v naught minimum will be equal to again 176.58 divided by 3 sine of 2 theta naught right so this is sine of 2 theta naught is again uh, we can write this is as 58.28 minus cos square theta naught which is 58.28 so this will give us that minimum velocity which is required. 
so that minimum velocity comes out to be 9.76 meter per second so this is the solution of this particular problem